Good morning, children and parents. I hope you're all well, well and keeping safe. This is Mrs Evans, and I'm just going to go through the remote learning for reception, which is classes one and two. Our topic this half term is the land before time. OK, we're learning lots about dinosaurs and how they lived many millions of years ago. The children are loving the topic so far, so please encourage them to do all their learning at home as it's vitally important. So I'm going to go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'll pass over to Miss Arshad from class two, who will go over the rest of the week. So on a Monday, each day we always start off with wake up, shake up. It's really important to get our mind and our bodies working, woke up, ready to do a day's learning. So we do wake up, shake up, then we move over to phonics. Really important part of the day, we do it every day. This helps us to um, read. We do our sounds, we do our segmenting, our blending. We do our tricky words, so make sure you do that each and every morning. Then each morning we have English and maths, so just follow the planning. Um, then we move over to lunchtime, which you make sure you have a piece of something to eat and have a drink and see if you can get outside to get some fresh air. It's really important, ready for your afternoon learning. So just like the mornings, we have wake up, shake up to get that mind and body working. Then on a Monday, we have our music in the afternoon. OK, the children love music, so enjoy that. Each and every afternoon, we end in school and please do at home with a story and a piece of fruit. Then we move over to Tuesday. So again, wake up, shake up, get your mind and body working. We've got our phonics, we've got our English and our maths. Then we've got our lunch time. Again, if you can get outside, get some exercise, that would be really good. Then ready for the afternoon, we've got wake up, shake up. Then we've got our topic and our EAD. Don't forget, nice piece of fruit and a story at the end of the day. Then Wednesday, again, wake up, shake up. We've got our phonics, we've got our English and our maths. We've got lunch time. Then wake up, shake up again. Afternoons are always, we get a little bit tired, so make sure you do that wake up, shake up, get your mind and body working. And then we've got our seal, okay? Really important lesson, it's all about how we're feeling, how we can cope and manage our feelings. If we've got a worry, if we've got a problem, that we know that we can need to talk to someone to help us. And then piece of fruit and a story at the end of the day. I'm going to pass you over now to Miss Arshad, we will go through the rest of the week's timetable. Hello reception, it's Miss Arshad. I am now going to go through Thursday and Friday, Friday's timetable with you. On Thursday, first we've got wake up, shake up to get ourselves ready to learn. Then we move on to phonics, then English reading. Next we've got maths. After that, it's your lunch. Make sure you get something to eat and drink, and if you can, do go and get some fresh air. In the afternoon, we've got face, um, wake up, shake up. Next, we've got PE rainbow hour. Next, we've got topic RE. And then we end the day with a story and a nice piece of fruit. On Friday, first, we've got wake up, shake up, then phonics. Next, we've got English writing. After that, we've got maths. Next, it's your lunch. Make sure you get something to eat and drink. And if you can, do go and get some fresh air. In the afternoon, we've got wake up, shake up, then computing. And finally, we end the day with fruit and a story. Hello again, children and parents. OK, I'm going to go through now the zones of regulation. Each and every morning when the children come into either class one or class two, the first thing that they do is they go to the zones of regulation board. Underneath, there's a picture of each of them. They get their picture and they put their picture in the zone of how they are feeling at that time when they come into school. OK, so we've got four zones. We've got a blue zone, a green zone, a yellow zone and a red zone. The best learning zone is the green zone. So we try our best to get there. But unfortunately, that's not always the case, which is absolutely fine. So. There are some strategies you can use if you're feeling in the blue zone, maybe a bit tired, maybe a bit sad, maybe feel a bit sick. That's absolutely fine. Let's see how we can move in, maybe take a drink of water, maybe go for a little walk, ready to get into the green zone. We might feel in the yellow zone, a bit frustrated, worried, um, a bit silly. That's absolutely fine again. Just make sure that you try your best to get into the green zone. 
and then we've got the red zone you might feel a bit angry a bit like yelling about maybe your brother maybe your sisters made you feel a bit angry this morning let's maybe take some deep breaths maybe go and sit down maybe read a book trying to get ourselves into the right zone into the green zone to do our best learning Please upload your work onto Tapestry. Also remember to complete your purple mash. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Mrs. Fellows on East Early Phase at eastfieldpride.co.uk. Thank you.